for Rodney Hyde. Order, order, order. Now the Labour front bench, order. That just let them off the hook. Uh, the Honourable Rodney Hyde. Thank you. Order. Now order. Now these senior ministers, should, members should know better than that. I heard someone, two members, use totally unparliamentary language. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything about it on this occasion because of responses from the other side. But the House will come to order. That may not have liked my rulings, but I'm satisfied that I've ruled uh, appropriately and I've called the Honourable Rodney Hyde for question number three. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Police, what powers do the New Zealand Police have to protect the economic interests of New Zealanders in our economic, exclusive economic zone? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker. Police, who are operationally independent under Section 16 of the Policing Act, deal with operational matters on a case-by-case -case basis and exercise their discretion as appropriate. The police's ability to act is found in a variety of legislation. In particular, the Policing Act 2008 outlines the roles and functions of police, and that includes keeping the peace, maintaining public safety, law enforcement and crime prevention. Honourable Rodney Hyde. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what powers do the police have in respect of uh, protesters at the weekend who threw themselves in front of the Petrobras exploration vessel, forcing it to veer off course to avoid endangering them? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, well, in a general sense, it's understood that enforcement jurisdiction on the sea is covered by customary international law, the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea and New Zealand Domestic Law. Applicable New Zealand legislation includes the Crimes Act, Summary Offences Act, Maritime Transport Act, Maritime Crimes Act, Maritime Security Act, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea Act and Continental Shelf Act. Honourable Rodney Hyde. Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Police, what is, uh, what is the point of the police... Uh, service, serving notices on the protesters to stay at least 250 metres from the bow and the stern of the Petrobras exploration vessel if the police aren't prepared to enforce uh, that order. The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Commissioner of Police and the Police Act independently of the government, as they should do. And... Uh, I believe that they have full powers under the acts that I have just listed to take action, should they wish to. Question number four, the Honourable David Cunliffe. 